Observing and filming monkeys shouldn't be an expensive pastime. But it became so with the arrival of this boisterous baby girl. Not only would she scratch your filters, but she would also jump onto the barrel of your lens, treating it like a springboard. And so there goes my lens. I first met Becky shortly after I bumped into Bessie with her firstborn, Benny, one day in the last week of May, 2021. And there she was, Bessie's mum, Bossy. And there, squirming and trying to get away from mum was Becky. She would rather be out to explore than to stay to nurse. Almost from the get-go. Wasn't she phenomenally advanced? For a newborn, at most a day to too old. Her nephew, Benny, could just barely hold on to his mother. But Lil Becky was already trying to climb away, and with some success. This baby girl was in the same league as Spocky and Spunky. And there she was again. Wasn't she adorable too? Another thing that struck me too, was how easy going she was still, without a teat in her mouth all the time.
Being the youngest of all Bossy's daughters, everyone was paying homage to her. She wasn't the prettiest baby that year. But somehow I took to her immediately. Not finding the teats. No problem at all. She never freaked out like other babies do. Wasn't she one easy-going baby? And she definitely seemed more interested in the world surrounding her. Had Bossy not held her tight, she would have wandered off by herself. This girl was different. I think Bossy felt so too. Look, she was trying to get away again.
it wouldn't hurt because she still had zero teeth then. But she wasn't a clinger, that's for sure, from the get-go. Keeping her on a very tight leash didn't seem to go down well with her. But her mum Bossy has been doing so for every baby born to her since the demise of Bossy Jr. in 2017. Sooner or later either one of them would have to compromise, and I bet it would be Becky. We all know how overbearing Bossy is. Now you can see how much more advanced Becky was. As usual, there was a contest between the daughters for the new baby in the royal household. But it would all be a waste of effort as Bossy would never let them babysit until a baby is at least a good three months old. Forget about it, Bubby. You could also see how curious this baby sister of Bubby was. I think we could all agree how different this baby was compared to all others. She was a born explorer who wouldn't mind to miss a few meals.
An explorer would hate to be fettered and tied down to one place. But for now, Bossy would have the upper hand. In this baby girl's favor though, she wasn't the type who was going to be bribed by a teat. Besides, she would grow a set of chompers in due course. The question was, would she get her way earlier than Norm with Bossy? No, Milk could only bribe her for so long. There didn't seem to be any instant Milk coma effect on Becky at all. One just couldn't put her to sleep without her wanting to do so to begin with. Not like Dopey or many other babies. Not an easy one for mum to catch a nap. If only she had a few chompers, she could have broken loose, I reckon.
Not once did she seem to miss the milk bar at all. Becky was one baby who seemed she only needed to nurse a good long one at night. And she would be good to go like an energizer bunny for the rest of the day. Okay, she might need a sip every now and again. But daytime for Becky was for more important business like exploring. She might have to do what mum forced her to do, but never willingly so like Deanly here. Becky was always doing something, wasn't she? But unfortunately, Bossy's grip was still very tight. By week three of age, Bessie was happy to let Benny wander about near her. But poor Becky was still very much fetid. It must be frustrating for her to see her less advanced nephew could just wander about freely. If we had to rely on any past pointers, Becky would likely have to wait for another 10 weeks before Bossy would consider weakening her grip on her. Poor Becky, what a nightmare for a born explorer. had passed after she was born. Things had still remained status quo for Becky.
Becky's dad, Grandi, Alpha for our gang between August 2018 to late autumn 2021. Still an iron grip on Becky. Bossy will always have her way. And it would remain so for the rest of July for Becky. Always with her mum. No playmate of her age. Perhaps Becky had been longing for a playmate for so long that she seemed to have developed a fascination for that little monkey in my lens when she first noticed it one day. Being caged for so long, it seemed Becky had become more like an ordinary baby. What had happened to the born explorer self in that little girl? Would that curious explorer in her be lost forever? Yes, that was Bossy just walking away. It seemed Bossy had relinquished her control earlier by a month all of a sudden. And she has handed over the job to her daughter, Bolly.
Okay, perhaps not so soon. But I could see some letting up on Bossy's side. Perhaps she also knew she couldn't rein her in for any longer. It was probably getting too much for poor old Bossy to stick to her three-month-long grip. After all, she was getting a bit long in the tooth too. Finally, Becky was free once and for all. Come on, you too, it's not like you hadn't seen your own reflections before. Give your little sis a chance. Yes, wasn't Becky good at the monkey bars? And before the end of August, Becky was roaming around freely like a cowboy. Sorry, I mean girl. She was rarely seen hanging around bossy anymore. Her innate explorer right. self was in charge finally. I had hardly seen her nurse by September. <laughs> she had already taken a liking to solid food by then. She didn't seem to care for milk much by then. Unlike her nephew, Benny, the same age as she. Bossy had no problem weaning her at all, as she had hardly needed any milk. She just passed by the milk bar every single time I saw her. And I would say she was almost fully weaned by the middle of October. Yeah. 
the earliest and easiest of all Bossy's babies, or indeed any babies I have seen so far. She was almost independent by November time. She knew how to take care of herself. And live life to the full. In their monkey way,
and she would always photobombs me if she happened to see me around. her curious self was beginning to show. In the boldest way, no other babies had ever done what she did in my nearly seven years of filming them. She seemed to have no innate fear of humans. She was happy to approach strangers that she had never seen before. She had become one confident and carefree near yearling. Perhaps too confident for her own good. Perhaps her boldness was beginning to cause some concerns. Her older sister Bolly was increasingly seen together with her, perhaps in an attempt to curb her excess in foolhardy behaviour. It might have worked, for she appeared to be more reserved towards humans, except those feeders she had come to know since she was born. So there you go, Becky. Play with your own kind only. Oh well, I suppose old habits die hard. But she was more restrained, and that was an improvement.
Now that's what a proper yearling should behave instead. By March, Becky had grown out of her habit to photobomb. And by April, she had settled down nicely to her role as a member of the royal household. Those days of exuberant behavior towards humans were gone. But she remains one boisterous yearling, deep down. The same Becky that I had come to know. Feisty as ever, and difficult to be dissuaded from doing something. I hadn't a clue what she was trying to do that day. But soon something else would take her attention away. Babies! Over time, Becky had learned to be respectful. She was definitely more gentle than her sister Bubby. And I hadn't seen a single instance when her fascination with Bippy would piss Bossy off. She would just observe and admire from a distance. And she didn't take advantage of the situation that day when Di was babysitting Betsy, her baby niece. She was nowhere to be seen.
Perhaps she didn't like seeing things that reminded her of those days when she was being held against her wishes too. And she was one of the yearlings, apart from Dean Lee who could put up with Ree's excesses. And at times, without Bolly around, she would lapse back into her old habits. But she no longer scratched my filters nor jumped onto the barrel of my lens. That I could put up with. And in time, she would become a mentor to her baby sister, Bippy too. Teaching her everything she knew, both desirable and less than desirable ones. Little did Bippy, and indeed anyone would know that it's her last time seeing her sister Becky alive.
They were all agitated, and in particular Bolly about what had just happened to their little sister. And that's the only footage I received from Monkeys Inc. which one of the feeders had passed to her. No one knows what happened to Becky's body afterwards. She would have been too had she lived for another four months. The year 2023 had been one bad year for me personally, as well as for our gang. Bossy had suffered four losses by July last year. A precious daughter. A son. And two grandchildren. There have been many disappearances for which I have no explanations, only speculations.
I have been trying to procrastinate any announcements for as long as possible as it was hard for me to admit they were gone. I was hoping for the best that they would somehow pop up again. It pained me and still does as I am speaking to you to tell you what I think is a fact now after a year. Please give me time as my heart aches as I check through their footage once again. Some of them I had watched them from the day they were born for close to six to seven years.